Hello guys, this is Joshua A600 with more Doodle Doobie Star. Oh, of course, we're starting with this music. Why wouldn't we? So let's head over to what I dubbed the Demonic Playground. No, that's not really what it is. Well, it did. It was kind of like a spooky thing. We did have coffins and stuff, so I was right about, kind of right about the demonic part. M maybe not the playground, but... It's a game, right? We are playing, so I guess the whole thing can be considered a playground, can't it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, did, were those like... Um, timpani? Or like a huge bass drum? Right after the Jeopardy theme? Something like that. So, let's head over to uh, the Seal of Oricalcos Galaxy. I know that's... It's, it kind of, it, it's not really the Seal of Oricalcos uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh, but close enough that I can make the joke. And this sounds like a speedrun with some very weird music. And I was wondering, like, when I did this, why the music seemed louder. It's because I forgot I uh, changed the settings for it. Okay, ah. Uh, this, I don't see a timer, so I don't think this is actually a speedrun, but... Oh god. Can I stand on those on the green thing? Maybe. But how do I do this? Okay, I don't care about the what's it called? Extra life. Well I kinda do, but not enough to risk death over. Like this doesn't this already isn't making any sense to me. Why does this game do that a lot? It, like, makes no sense to me. Just get over there. See, look at that one, though. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? And then, ugh. Wow. I was totally facing, like, it's opposite, whatever. At least that jump actually works, like, gain with gaining distance. Like the spin, jump, spin, or jump, spin, jump, spin. Really, that's what it is. Okay. You just have to get really good at the jump, spin, jump, spin move. It seems like. But this music, it's very creepy and demonic. I guess it's fitting for the Seal of Oricalcos galaxy, isn't it? I wanted to make that joke uh, last time we were here, but like for some reason I like convinced myself not to, but I don't remember the reasoning for it. Oh, well. I have no idea where these uh, star chips are. Really, can I just get up on these platforms? Thing is, we already collected starships on this exact same planet before. Why are we? Why do we have to again? It's just a waste of our time. Well, there's another one right there. Well, that's okay if I miss that one because I can just climb up on that thing, can't I? Hmm. Is the last one over here again? I wouldn't be surprised. No, it's an extra life this time. Good thing, I guess. I mean, I am lacking those. Well, I wonder where the last star chip is. Is it on top? No. Hmm. Fascinating. This music is really starting to freak me out. I don't know why. I'm just like getting a sense of I don't, I shouldn't be here. How did I miss that? It was right in front of me when I began. I don't know. It could have been it was on... It could have been the enemy was on top of it. And I just thought the enemy was glowing because enemies sometimes glow or something. I don't know. Ugh. Make tiny little adjustments. 
That's like the only way to get through this. And honestly, who cares about the coins? Okay. Well then, five, almost five and a half minutes in and we don't even have a single star yet. Oh, not these again. In some way, it's not star chips. Oh, even worse. Switches. <laughs> Whoever made this game must hate the players. Seriously, Fanta Wild hates its, hates its players. Or whatever, I mean... They must. They cannot honestly expect anyone to truly do this. Because I'm already incredibly frustrated and I just barely started this. I don't have the patience to figure out, I honestly, I'll admit, I don't have the patience to figure out some arbitrary switch order. And, uh, uh, of course, the thing is, like, I don't know where they all are. All these plants look the same. I don't know which ones I've been on, which ones I haven't. There's one over here. So, like, I'm trying to, like, keep in my mind where I just came from so I can go back to it and try it. Hope this is three. Please be three. Because I'm tired of going back to this. Can I jump onto it? Thank you. Oh, boy. No, that's that must be four or five, obviously. Is there one on this first planet? Okay, I just came from... See? Where'd I come from? Well, I know where I came from, but... Okay, I just went there. And now I can go... Here. I want to go to the one with the screen. Okay, and then I guess go on to this one. Right? That's three. Is there, no, is there another one here? That one's five. How do I get to four now? Is it over here? I don't remember. Can you turn? You need to have good momentum when jumping. Ugh. Jump to... It's really difficult to jump to these the next planet. Is it even on here? Like... Ugh. Just move. Four. Now, it's, it's on the one opposite of me. So if I just... I can... Right? Just jump over here. And it should be on this side. Yeah. I'm surprised I was able to find everything. There's the star. It's on... It's not on the same planet. It's on the one right over there. Okay. Just let me get the star already. 22. I'm glad that music is gone. I mean, seriously, after a while, that music is like, you want to get out of there. You, there it feels like impending doom. It really does. Oh, again? <laughs> impending doom. Oh, boy. Okay, star chips. I like star chips are easy enough, right? They're by far mu like the better collectible thing out of switches. You don't want to ever have to actually deal with switches. There. The, the, did you see that the shadow was like stuck in the in the, in the mud thing? It's kind of odd. Okay, I see another star chip. Is that the last one or is that only number four? I think that's only four. Oh no, that was five. Good to know. Oh. Ooh, jump over the boulder. That's kind of cool. See, why am I walking... I don't know. It feels like I was on like the mud texture, even though I wasn't. I think it's just because I was walking instead of jump, um, jump spin, jump spin. 
Oh, not the faces again. Oh, t switches on the faces. This is by far the dumbest. This is by far the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Who thought this was a good idea? Someone must have. I mean, is it easy? Yes. Fun and interesting? No. Especially because I still haven't even found one yet. I'm probably going to have to go around this whole thing every time to find the next one. Because that's just the methodical thing to do. Of course it'd be the last one. So let's go in reverse. Like, again, I don't know if these truly are random. Hey, that worked. Maybe from now on they're gonna go in a row. No, well, so much for that idea. At least I found two of them in a row, though. Yeah, like I said, this isn't hard. This is just tedious, and no one wants to actually be bothered to do this. And I should go to this, the previous one, because that might actually be number four. Who knows? I have to remember which one I came from. Oh, well, no, that's five, obviously. So I'm going to have to... And then, of course, then I'll still have to get either the star or go into the launch pyramid. Well, that was fun. The camera completely messed up the angle there. So go back. And back. Actually, the launch pyramid slash star will probably just appear on the center planet. The center face. Oh, I guess I should explain the title for, I think it was last episode, actually. Um, Evil Face Tower Defense. That was at Doola Dooney. That make... Um, I guess I should explain this. Um, basically what I read online, I believe you saw on Destructoid. Or, um... Some... Or some other game website like that. Look what's with her eyes. She looks evil. Impending doom. I don't want to sit through this. Just press actually spacebar. And that's the star. Um, first evil face star defense. Let me explain that. Um, that's basically like the first, like I made a game with some type of a program. I don't remember what program, but it was uh, called evil face star defense. And I actually still have, I actually still ha like have it the program it's on it's actually on my desktop right now called evil face tower defense.exe and oh this is probably a speed run isn't it with the boulders because they wouldn't make us go through that a third time if it wasn't a speed run oh for steph already so that's evil face tower defense and and yeah like the enemies were literally just an a slightly evil face I actually have to wait for that thing to come to me and waste time. Thanks, game. Um, second, I th like I was either on Destructoid or Kotake. I believe that's what the other website's name. I believe they both went over Doola Doobie Star at some point. But um, they like discuss Fantawild and how it's pretty much like the Disney of China or something. And how like it's apparently more well-known in China than Disney itself. Which I... Give Phantom Wild as a huge accomplishment because Disney is a worldwide company and their stuff gets knocked up so much from uh, Chinese manufacturers. But getting off topic, so Phantom Wild is like the Disney there, and and Doola Doobie, this character, and Doola Dooney, the pink character, are pretty much like the Mickey and Minnie of a uh, Phantom Wild. I believe that one was on Destruct Destructoid. If not, it could be been on Kotake, but. What am I doing? Jump, spin, jump, spin. Faster. Okay, boulder. I think I can dodge it. Yeah. I have to wait for the next two, though. Because they, they come three at, three in, at a time. Uh, this is so annoying. And look how slow this one's rolling, my god. 
Waste even more of my time. Oh, don't jump off the edge. Seriously, it really scares me when Billy Doobie suddenly changes angles like that. Look at the boulder. One goes so slow, they have to roll into each other. And again, that one clips out. Uh, the camera here is... Well, the camera here is always awful, but even more so in this particular part. Okay, wait for one to pass. Second one. See, the second one is the fastest. And when it, and it catches up to the first one... Is the third one even going to come? There it is. But seriously, though, the third one is so slow, I have to wait. Like, the third one's so... S Never mind, I'm, I'm just rambling on. God. I don't even know if that was one or two anymore. Probably be worth it to just even take the hit from this one. Just so I don't have to wait for it, you know? Because there's that, and also there's a health thing right here. No, this one I'm gonna wait for. Because I'm near the end, I don't want to die now. Oh my god, we're past 16 minutes? I didn't even know that was, uh And I see the star at the end there. I think because of the angle, I'm uh, safe from the boulders. So that's good news. Oh, I didn't mean to get the health power up just in case, but whatever. Well, there's another one right here. And an extra life, which I want. Because I lost like three lives or something on the at the very beginning of the speedrun. Trying to, just trying to, uh... What's it called? Just trying to get onto that first platform. And we surprisingly did get three stars in this episode. And I explained Evil Face Tower Defense. I explained Fanta Wild. And that's probably the boss, which I guess we'll save for next episode. I'm Joshua600, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.